how the water came into the bathhouse. Um, basically, there was a hot spring underneath it, so that's why it's warm and people bathe there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they threw curses on, like, was it, um... <clears throat> it's education time. So the Roman bathhouses were a place... They were a place where people went to go bathe in Roman times. It's like a rec center, to be honest. But also, what this clip is about is they would have this little place where you could go and find this slate. And you would write a curse on it to someone that offended you. So if like Bobby from, no. If Bobby from the Colosseum took your spot when you just wanted to see someone get impaled by another person or watch them get eaten by a lion. Anyway, if Bobby took your spot and you were mad about it, you'd be like, please Zeus, let Bobby become blind so that he can get what he deserves, you know? So they would, so they would write this curse and throw it into a pool. Hopefully the gods would like read it and be like, you know what, Bobby does deserve that. We're gonna make him blind. So that's what this is about. Enjoy. Yeah. And they threw them here? No, in the spring. In the spring. Around the corner there, yeah. That's okay. where the goddess really resides. That's why uh, it's hot as that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that my friend was up there. There's a piece of lead that you can roll up and create a curse on you. You'd roll it up? Yeah, normally. So it's quite flexible. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a soft. Still, I think uh, it's like Rosonia started to write something on that. But she, she decided not to. Yeah, perhaps not. I mean, she forgave him. Yeah, perhaps. Have you ever done that? Yes, I've done it. I, I don't write myself, so I had to get a scribe to do it. Okay. Um, someone stole my cloak when I was in London. No way. I imagine. So I had a lovely uh, cloak that I had been travelling with for many years. Nice fitted hood. So like worn in by that time yeah, too. Yeah, drew in at the waist. I loved it. But uh, I was in the bathhouse in London, and uh, I did get a slave to look after my clothes whilst I was in the water. Oh, now I have this boiled wool thing, wretched Breton rubbish. I mean, it still looks nice. That's kind of you to say so, but it itches like it, yeah. something awful. Yeah. So, you, so you did throw it in there for that? Yes. Well, they've probably gotten what they deserved. Yes, I hope so. If, if not now, then soon. <laughs> tasted was the water that comes into the bathhouses because it's because it's drinkable so I drank some of it and it literally tastes like blood it literally tastes like blood and it, I can whenever I watch this clip while I'm editing it I can like taste it again don't drink bath water if it came from a Roman bathhouse it's not fun How's it salty? Just to Going into Urban Outfitters, even though I can't afford anything there, but I love it so much, you know. But we're still gonna do a try-on haul, and I'm not buying them. I don't know if that's illegal, but we're still gonna do it. What do you like about Bye. this bridge, Dad? It's a pretty neat little suspension bridge. No, we went and walked around in the dark and it was kind of scary. We did that and then then we found a bubble tea place and um, we got bubble tea. Just stab it. Beautiful. Let's try her. Trying bubble tea for the first time. We'll see. <laughs> Day three, and we're going to a castle. We're going to a castle today. <laughs> okay. Dad, can you describe your Age of Empires tactics used with that trebuchet? Oh yeah. Three, 
in a perfect spot to destroy the keep. You know, it's out of the range of the archers and the pikemen. The cannons probably can't get the keep, the trebuchet. So you just, you just bombard it. It's awesome. Wins every time. because we're going to be killed in Russia in a minute. We've got a thousand... Subscribe. Ready? One, two, three, let's. <laughs>